Hi guys and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. We are going to be making a pre-workout or pre-game smoothie here today. Um, this is Coach Steve, I'm Coach Lindsay, and Steve's going to kind of talk about the timing of smoothies before games. So the smoothie we're making today is something that you could have one to two hours before your game or practice. If you were in a little bit of a bind for time, you could make the full size smoothie and just have half before and half after. So you might ask why a smoothie would be a good choice before a game or a practice. Well, if we talk about the three macronutrients that we need every day, a smoothie is a really good way to get our carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are the main energy source that you're gonna be using for any kind of athletic performance. Another macronutrient that you will find in a smoothie is protein. Now, proteins are gonna be responsible for the repair of damaged muscle. Every time you're using your muscles, especially if you're using them over the course of a practice or a game, there is some inherent damage that occurs, so you do need to repair that and replenish for your next practice or game. The last macronutrient is fats. Now fats are an essential part of our diet and really important, but you really want to limit fats around athletic performance. They take longer to digest. So we are going to add a little fat to our, our smoothie, but we're going to kind of take into account how much and from what kind of sources. So what we have in front of us right here. Uh, so for carbohydrates, most of what you see here is at least a small source of carbohydrates specifically your grains your granola or your rolled oats there's also going to be some carbohydrates present in your uh, vegetables or fruits um, there's going to be some in yogurt uh, there's definitely some in milk as well as um, flaxseed and peanut butter and the benefits of carbohydrates are like we talked about boosting performance and just maintaining your energy throughout your performance so you kind of don't kind of hit that crash and kind of fall down the other side. So that's really why carbohydrates are gonna be the main focus here. Um, also, we're gonna get hydration from these smoothies too, through the form of, um, we're gonna do some, some plant-based milk here. I try to stay away from cow dairy, especially surrounding athletic performance. It can really affect some people's stomach. So if you do have a lactose intolerance, definitely stay away from dairy. But I'm gonna use a plant-based milk. Almond milk's great. You can get unsweetened, which is always better to limit the amount of sugar you have. Um, and the dairy here, this is yogurt. So if you guys, you can you can omit that if you can't if you can't handle dairy. But again, that's a good source of your of your fats, which we're gonna kind of keep to a limit as we talked about before. Also, another thing is micronutrients. So just your vitamins and general things that are gonna help you absorb your macronutrients, help you absorb water and other things better. Uh, that's gonna be in your vegetables and your fruits. Uh, you know, your vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin B, uh, all those things are gonna assist with your performance. So should we jump into it? Let's do it. All right, so for today's smoothie, we're gonna kind of be mixing and matching. I'm gonna kind of go off some of my main staples here but everyone's gonna have access to different stuff at your home, so if you try to um, create a recipe, use what you have and don't be afraid to kind of change it up depending on what you like. Um, See, so you can grab the frozen berries out of there. Um, I like frozen fruit um, because it gives a nice cold texture to it, makes it a little bit smoother. Um, again, we're adding more fruit, so fruit is a carbohydrate, so that's gonna give us that, you know, we're gonna work towards our energy. Um, I have a nice little, this is a magic bullet, which is a great little tool for uh, smoothie making. It comes in like individual sizes, so this would be a perfect size for one person. Again, like Steve said, if you are getting close to competition, you might do half um, before. And because these are so good for, for recovery, drinking the half after is an, another great option. Um, so, what I'm gonna do, where the blade is depends a lot. A lot of you guys might have blenders that sit in like this and the blades at the bottom and it goes on top. Okay, you kind of want to keep the softer stuff, you want to put the softer stuff in first because the blade, you know, if it's going right to frozen fruit, that's tough on the blade. You want to take care of our blenders. So I'm kind of the reverse here because this, this works a little differently and I'm going to fill it up this way. So I'm going to put my frozen stuff at the bottom. So, Steve, open that up for me, will you? So I'm gonna start with berries. Um, banana's great too. If you do banana um, and you're closer to competition, maybe half a banana because these do have more fiber in them. Fiber's awesome, but also as you get closer to competition, um, can be a little slower to digest. And remember, we're thinking about simple digestibility here. All right, so I'm gonna put some blueberries in here. Okay, like a, a cup of fruit is a good amount of fruit, I'd say. Um, I'll add a couple of mixed berries too. So that's, Pretty good for the amount. We got strawberry in there too. So that's a good amount of fruit right there. Remember, fruit does come naturally with quite a bit of sugar, um, but good sources. You got all the other good stuff with it too, so it's a really good option. 
So I'm going to do that. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of my yogurt in here. So would you say in general that just like a handful of fruit is a good, like a fistful? Yeah, a handful. Yeah, you could like if you were to hold your hand out and pour in fruit, that's a that's about a good amount. You can always measure it out if you want to, um, but that's a good a good indication of the amount you should be using. Um, again, for the yogurt. So I'm going to probably use about a half a cup or so. And I'm just eyeballing it. I make these a lot. So you guys can play around with it. Again, make sure if you are not tolerant of dairy, you do not use dairy in your smoothies. Definitely a big no-no. Also, I know a lot of you guys are scared of vegetables. But I promise if you put vegetables in a smoothie, you do not taste them, okay? This is arugula here. Spinach is a little bit um, less obvious in a smoothie because it doesn't taste quite as um, bitter but you just kind of push those down in there okay a handful of greens would be great and again that's awesome for recovery afterwards um, so now I'm kind of going to add in I'm a big fan of granola you can also do um, raw quick cook oats because they're a little finer and easier to grind up I like granola but the issue with granola a lot of them have lots of sugars try to get a granola with like five grams of sugar or less a lot of them you'd be shocked would be like upwards of 10 15 grams of sugar way too much to be adding in there also this granola does have a little bit of fat in it so you want to pay attention to that too so I'm gonna add a little bit of granola in there for me it's probably about two tablespoons not too much again great source of carbohydrate and I will add in, for my fat, I'm actually gonna do a little bit of flaxseed meal. Okay, great source of fat too. Half a tablespoon to a tablespoon is good for you there. Again, if this is your only fat, that's good. I wouldn't go too heavy with the fat. So another fat I would often use would be a peanut butter, a nut butter, cashew butter. Uh, but since I chose this today, I'm going with that. So you wouldn't you wouldn't put both of them in here. You'd kind of pick one of the. Um, other. it's not a bad idea after uh, post competition. You might want to put both in if you're going into a competition. I'd pick one because I already have a little bit of fat in my dairy. Yep. Um, so I'm just gonna choose one. This would be getting up there in fat, so I'm gonna just stick to this. It's a little easier to get out. Um, also, we're gonna talk about protein powders. A great option for because it, it's hard to get a lot of protein from these things naturally outside of your yogurts and um, your nut butters but protein powder is a great way I can send out a list for those who want of some good sources of protein powders because a lot have not so good ingredients are really not as good for you so great option there so I'll actually add a scoop of that into my smoothie so that's a little protein and last thing here because this will not blend on its own is our milk again i'm using a plant-based milk so this might need to be adjusted after i always start with like a cup of milk and if you end up needing more afterwards you can adjust it that's a nice thing these get stuck so my bears are going to be stuck at the top bear with me here we're going to put this in get the blending. look at that lovely color Pretty. keep it there you can keep blending if you don't like the consistency after the good thing about smoothies you can always adjust it you can always change it um, these are made to your taste so you can you can use whatever ingredients also and a lot of people like to add table sugar to their smoothies don't add table sugar never a good never a good you have plenty of sugar in here naturally occurring you do not in fact that'll make you do one of those um, blood sugar roller coaster crashes so don't don't be adding any more sugar to them um, Anything else you want to add before I talk about the challenge? I want to try it. Go ahead, take a sip, Steve. Steve will be the taste tester here. Um, what do you think? It's good. It's very good. All right, so for your challenge, if you guys have a blender, I want you guys to try to create your own pre-workout smoothie. If you want, There's you can look up recipes online super easy it's gonna be based on take a look at what you have if your parents are going out you want to buy a couple ingredients great but if you don't don't worry about that what you have on hand is probably fine you can look up some ingredient I mean some recipes based off the ingredients you have try it out uh, rewatch the video you can use a lot of the same stuff I have 
Um, and if you don't have a blender, which some of you don't, challenge you to make your own smoothie bowl. So you could, instead you use a lot of these same ingredients, you could get some Greek yogurt, put in a bowl, add your berries, add a little bit of a granola, you can add a little bit of um, cinnamon, some spices to it. So I challenge you to kind of make your own version based on what we showed you here for a pre-game meal. So if we, if they didn't have a blender, you could basically just, what you had in there, you could just eat out of a bowl, essentially, right? Right, so that'd be kind of like your smoothie bowl with your yogurt. You can sprinkle your flaxseed on it, add your berries on top. Um, those look really pretty too. You can add your granola on there, mix it all up, and you got a smoothie bowl, which is another great option for pre-game. Cool. So send your videos to your coach. Let us know what you made. If you made some good um, recipes, send them on over to us. And good luck. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.